Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly reading for the end of June. So the 25th through July 1st, or whenever it resonates. Generally my readings are love readings, so keep that in mind. And keep in mind that this reading may not resonate with you, because there's no way that I can read every single person, okay? We're going to get one of these and one of these. If it flips over while shuffling, you'll get to see it now. Otherwise, we, we will reveal it at the end. Like I said, I don't know if I told you, but generally my readings are love readings. I am going to be doing a six-month forecast on Vimeo um, that will cover love, money, finances, and home. That will be July through December. Stay tuned for that. I will be posting previews once they're all done and downloaded. This is for the sign of Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know for the end of June? There's rapid movement. Something is happening fast. Okay, something is happening fast. And it appears that you might have to make a decision. We have the Ace of Cups. We also have the Nine of Cups. You know, somebody could be falling in love. <laughs> yeah, you know, it appears, it appears that, you know, there's something to celebrate here. There is the Three of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. There's something to celebrate, Capricorn. And maybe, you know, it's something that you can't deny, you can't escape. Moon reversed, you can't escape it. You can't escape love. <laughs> this could be happening too fast. I mean, it's too fast for your comfort, okay? You have to be, you have to make a decision here. And it may be a heavy decision. It is, it's a heavy decision because you've been hurt in the past. The Three of Swords is the basis of this reading. We know what the Three of Swords, that's hurt. Heartache. True growth. True growth. Look at the threes. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. Your prayers have been answered. That's what th your prayers have been heard. Your prayers have been heard. But you may lack confidence. You may lack confidence, courage, and strength to, to go along with this. Okay? You may feel like, oh, God, I've been so hurt in the past. I'm scared to death. I'm scared to death to, to you know, make compromises in my, in my life. You know, it feels like you have these doubts. You have these doubts that, you know, this will work out. You do. You have doubts that this will work out. Things are happening fast. But it's real. Hmm. I can't remember if I zoomed this in or not. Okay, so that was just a little foundation right there. We're going to see what we can get for clarifiers. 
you know, I feel like in the past there's been something that happened that has hurt pretty badly. It's hurt you. It's, it's caused you some wounds. You may fear rejection. You may fear getting hurt like that again. You know, I feel like you now have to make a decision in regards to wish fulfillment, whatever it is, about accepting reality, about seeing the truth, about um, facing your fears. Okay, with that moon card, you have to make a decision. Are you ready to face your fears? Are you ready to, to open up your heart? I mean, this is what this looks like. I feel as though... You know, others probably see you as having a lot of doubt. People see that you, you know, aren't fully aware of your... You're not fully aware, aware of what the right thing it is to do because this is how others see you. Basically, these cards that are connected to this one. People are seeing that you are... You have a lot of doubts. You lack faith. You lack faith in... And perhaps a something solid. You you lack faith, okay? You lack um, communication skills, perhaps. Maybe that's how other people see you as well. They see that you you don't you don't dare to you don't dare to open up. You don't dare to work together with someone. You probably have your guard up. I think people see that. They see that you have your guard up. Um, I feel as though you know. This is fun. There is some in the future. There's fun. There's happiness. There's rejoice. There's, there's a time to rejoice. It's a time to celebrate. So I, I feel as though you've you've been through some suffer, suffering. You've grown, and now you're being offered something from a, on the Ace of Cups, which is a gift from above, a gift of love. So there could be some sort of offer of love that could lead to wish fulfillment, and you may be feeling that, like, this is a dream come true, but you're scared to death to accept it. It's like, I'm not sure that I can have confidence in this because I've been hurt so badly. And I feel as though um, you're being called to go with it. You're being called to have fun. You're being called to, to just play. Be playful. You know, let, just be at ease. Let's get some clarifiers here in regards to, yeah, you're afraid. You're afraid. You may not. I feel, I feel like there is an ace of cups being offered to you, okay? There is some love being offered to you, but I think that you are probably really afraid to accept it because you're afraid. Maybe you've been cheated on in the past. You've been lied to. You've been deceived. You know, you've been involved maybe in a situation that you didn't want to be involved in, and you're you're really concentrating on that. I feel as though... There is a new opportunity for love coming, but you're you're afraid to release the past and and let let your feelings show your true feelings. You're you're afraid to reveal how you truly feel about this thing that's happening, whatever it is. Something is happening, and I'm afraid I'm afraid that you're you're confused about these feelings that are happening. These this emotional you know, pitter-patter that's going on, you know, it's it's confusing you. I feel as though um, you're probably overanalyzing. You're probably overanalyzing this love connection when you should just be going with it. You should just be letting it flow, go with the flow instead of analyzing it. Um, you could lose an opportunity if you, if you just think about it too much. Um, yeah, you need to be decisive. You need to make a firm decision. You need to be objective as well. Be objective about love. I feel like there is... Um, you've probably lost faith, okay? You've probably lost some faith in love. And I feel like you are probably refusing to to hold that go of the past hurts. And you're being called to really be objective. Be... be Try to see it as it really is. It's not the past, okay? It's not. See this situation, this new offer, as it is, as it is. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't let this past suffering, this past rejection, the past regrets that you have had in the past with whatever commitment you were in hold you back, okay? Because I feel like there is something to be happy about. Now we have three of cups here and three of cups here, okay? We do. We have three of cups here and three of cups here. I mean, we do. So three of cups is about uh, have fun. It's about a celebration. It's about giving. It's about rejoicing. It's about, you know, 
just being playful, okay? Being playful. And I feel as though, you know, you're being called to... Here I am, I'm rubbing my chest for you guys. I am, I'm rubbing my, I'm rubbing right where my heart is, okay? That's weird. Um, open your heart. Open your heart. Over here, the challenge is the Ace of Cups in the challenge position. Love. It's a challenge for you. I think that you're starting to feel some feelings, perhaps. And this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or Venus. Or somebody is offering you some sort of love, and it's a challenge for you. It's a challenge because of the heart that has been, that has went through so much suffering in the past. And you're thinking about it. You're thinking about it. You're thinking about this love. It's on your mind. It's on, love is on your mind this week. You're thinking about... You know, should I, should I go after, because this is the eight, eight of Cups, this is the Nine of Cups. Should I go after this wish fulfillment or should I walk away? What should I do? This is this is happening quick. It's, it's, it's feeling me. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. And it's scaring you. I think it is. You're thinking about walking away because it's scary. You know, and the thing is, it's not about proving yourself. It's not about the past conflicts. It's about being happy, right? It's about being happy, isn't it? Isn't that what life is about? It's about being happy. I mean, some of you fear this. You, you fear upheaval. You fear chaos. I mean, you've, you've been involved in some sort of Or you're going to be. I mean, this is the basis. And now this is the outcome. And this is right in the middle. So it, appear, it appears that there is going to be some fated event. Or there has been. There is a fated event. I'm going to get a clarifier for that. That is forcing growth. And you could be dealing with a Taurus. Or Libra could be any sign but I feel as though there is some sort of fated and destined universal event that is forcing some sort of growth within you renewal rebirth and it's love the Empress is ruled by Venus which is the planet of love so I in another three Okay, so three, 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 three. You have threes here. Remember I saw the three of cups too? There's, this is three. Threes are about union. They're about trinity. They're about coming. It's about coming together. It's a spiritual wake-up call. It's about um, your prayers have been heard. Your prayers have been heard. This is growth. This threes are growth. It's about change. I feel like there's some big changes that are coming into your love life that are scaring you. They're scaring you, and this is uh, this is this is weighing heavily on your mind, heavily. You know, I, this this is this feels like it's too good to be true. It feels like it could be right, but I am scared to death. What are these? Per what is this person's motives? What are they hiding from me? What are their secrets? You know, I feel like you're really scared of getting involved in a situation that may not be solid, but it feels to me that. This is fated, meant to be, okay? And there is an opportunity for growth and love. You could be dealing with somebody that has a really beautiful soul. That could be you even. This is the card of abundance as well. Whoever you're dealing with, is is abundant very comfortable with themselves very motherly very sensual very strong very attractive and now this could be you going through a renew going through a renewal a rebirth becoming this empress learning to love again
But you have a lot of inner conflict. You're, you're, you're having some power struggles with this decision about love, about this, this, this uh, you know, decision that you need to make to either love or not to love. You're, you're going back and forth. You're playing tug of war. I want it, but I don't. I do, but I don't. You fear people, somebody else's hidden agendas. You fear, you fear, you fear. You know, what kind of tricks do they have up their sleeve? Why do they really want me? Why are they really offering this to me? And it feels as though you may decide, you know, you may, this is the future, decide not to put in effort, not to work on it. Because you're not living, you're living in the past. Because eights are now. These are both reversed. You may, you may lose this opportunity with this four of cups. But not because you don't put in effort and you decide to walk away be, from real wish fulfillment. Because you're, you're, it's like you don't have any fight left in you, Capricorn. It's like you don't have any strength left any confidence, any courage in a future, in living in the future, living in the now. You, it's like you're, you're, you're too focused still on the past. With You are. It's like you're still focused on the, the past hurt, rejection. I mean, the Three of Swords is the basis of this whole reading. You fear rejection. You fear having regrets for opening your heart. The Nine of Wands reversed is... Somebody is is giving up next to the Eight of Pentacles reverse. It feels as though you may decide to not put in effort, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. These can always go vice versa. Somebody's not putting in enough effort to manifesting or bringing success to love, to a love connection, not giving it enough time, not giving it enough effort, not putting enough energy into it. Therefore, this opportunity could be lost because whoever this other person is, is feeling like you're too pessimistic, feeling like you you don't you don't see their worth you don't see their energy you don't you don't have passion for them you know i feel like you're bringing yourself down by by living in the past by letting the past hurt hold you back You're reluctant to move on. You're reluctant to let go of that mental anguish from that Three of Swords. You are. You're unable. You're reluctant. You're reluctant to see things in a positive light. You're thinking negatively about this love connection when the fact of the matter is, is it could lead to happiness. You, you could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with any sign. We have Taurus a couple times. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Libra a couple times. I think you're dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. It could be a fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Pisces. We have Gemini. Um, we have any sign. doesn't really matter. But this is Taurus. This is Taurus. This is Libra. This is Libra. You know, it's whatever. could be any sign that you're dealing with. But I feel as though... You're reluctant to see a new approach when you need to be seeing a new approach on love. You do. You do. You may be afraid of a commitment. You may be afraid to believe in yourself or to believe in this forward path. You're, you may be afraid to believe in this person. It's like you've lost faith in love, Capricorn. When, and now there's an opportunity for love. And it's really too bad. You could lose the opportunity because you are guarding yourself. You're scared to death you know you could and it's like it's really too bad it is
I think you're dealing with an earth sign. Another earth sign that could be you. Could be an earth, it could be any sign, but you're maybe you're like, you know what, I can't focus on love right now. I need to focus on everything but love. And that's a that's a that's protective tactic, okay? It is. It's a great way to protect yourself is to focus on everything but love. It is, it is. So therefore, you probably won't have any new relationship as long as you continue to think that way. There's an opportunity to change your path if you can make a a different decision if you can see things more objectively if you can take a step back and become aware of what you really want what do you want in your old age where do you want to be in in 10 years 20 years 30 years where do you want to be do you want to be a hermit do you want to live alone forever So I feel as though this is a week where there's an offer of love or you're feeling love, probably both. But you're scared to accept it. You decide to protect yourself and say, nope, I don't want it. I'm going to focus on my job. I'm going to focus on everything but love because I've been hurt so badly in the past that I don't trust you. So I feel, that you, I feel as though you may reject some offer you know, of a commitment or whatever this is because you fear, you know, you fear disaster. You fear upheaval. You fear somebody has might have some tricks up their sleeve. So I think there is an opportunity that is real, real love, because the moon reversed is reality. And the, the Ace of Cups is right here. It's real love. It's faded, destined to come into your life, but you may pass it up because you haven't healed. You're still healing though. Trust, oh. They love me and they love you. Trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith. It is. Have faith in this connection. Have faith in, in how you're feeling, in your heart, in the pitter-patters that you're feeling. Have faith in it. You want it, but your fears are holding you back. So I'm going to bury myself in my work and use that as a cop-out to protect myself. But I'm going to continue to heal. Trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith. There's an opportunity for a solid relationship here in which it may get passed up because you don't trust. Forgiveness. Pisces got this as well. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. And this is exactly what is going on. Forgive the past. Whatever happened taught you something. Allow it. Allow it to happen. There's an opportunity for new love here that leads to wish fulfillment. If you could step outside of your fears. Talk to you later.